On rare occasions, we get to witness moments of sheer genius. This is not one of those moments. <laughs> Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Lou, do you sometimes feel like giving up on this, like coming to no. reality, like saying, no, forget I, I, this I, nonsense? I, I don't feel like giving up on it. I feel perpetually confused, though. As as to how you guys could be this thick, <laughs> how you can it's say silly called things logic, like you said like, earlier, like yeah, when to employ like logic, you earlier, like, uh, where you uh, could uh, you can't figure out how Artemis is slowing down. Jesus. Oh, God. oh nice! I was finally I was hoping to get to that. Yeah, Gizmo. Totally yeah, that'd sick. be that would be great. Can you think of a for what forces do you think would be acting on Artemis right now? If engines are shut off. Can we start slowly though? Can we start slowly? First of all, can we establish that escape velocity is twenty five thousand miles an hour? It's about that, and Artemis never got to it, did it? Okay, uh, did it? Oh, hold on, did so. it? I don't think yeah. so. Why don't you go back and look? When the main engine cut off. Why don't you why don't you see what speed it was doing? Did, Did it reach? Can you do that? Did it reach? Okay, can we agree that it had to at least reach orbital velocity? Well, of course it reached. It, it had to reach orbital velocity. But do, what what do you think escape velocity means, Beth or Essie? Well, what I've been told, and I've checked with NASA yesterday, it means a craft leaving earth has to be traveling 25,000 miles an hour to escape the gravitational forces of the earth unless nasa is wrong all right let's be clear about what you're saying for an object to leave the gravitational field of the earth and never come back yep that is yep. the speed it has to achieve correct yeah, correct correct okay. yes all right Okay, so did Artemis reach escape velocity, 25,000 nope. miles per hour? Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Oh, then it must okay. be coming back. I did it reach? So. You, want, you want to do this, uh, whoever's talking, or you want me That's to have a little go with him? I'll just go ahead and see just you and Blue, please. Go ahead. Thanks. So can we agree that it reached escape velocity? Not with me, you can't. I don't agree with you. I, I'm sorry. Did I say it? My, my bad? Because I, I, my head went. Uh, sorry. Because uh, of the confusion here. Did did it reach orbital velocity? Sorry, I was muted. Yes, it reached orbital velocity. And orbital velocity, if I'm not mistaken, is seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour. Well, it depends on the altitude, but yeah, about that, around that number. Okay, so we have a craft that reached 17,500 miles an hour. Then, from what I hear, it uh, looped around, it reached, it reached an orbit, and it looped around to get the right trajectory. Am I correct in that? Mm-hmm. Wait a All right. So, look try, okay. Try so me. now, can you explain to me how it lost sixteen thousand miles of speed? Yeah, it's under the influence of Earth's gravity. Yeah, but did didn't we agree that it has to leave? It needs twenty five thousand miles an hour to completely leave Earth's gravity. So yeah, wouldn't no. it stand to reason that? No. Sorry, I don't think it ever reached. 25,000 miles an hour. Then how did it escape the pull of the Earth's gravity? It hasn't left. It has not escaped the pull of Earth's gravity, is it? It has not. So how well, is now it traveling it's the, towards? Well, because it's, now it's under the influence of the moon's gravity, too. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't that have to leave the influence of the Earth's gravity first? Didn't no. We, 
Didn't we say? No, we absolutely not. No, we didn't agree. Blue, didn't we agree? Escape we absolutely the Absolutely, did not agree. I think this the escape velocity doesn't contemplate another gravitational effect at all. Escape velocity is a calculation that can be done to see what you what speed you have to achieve to go beyond the point where Earth's gravity would pull the object back to the Earth. Agreed. So are you saying now that this capsule could turn back on its own? No, I didn't say that either. So then it, it has escaped the Earth's gravity, correct? No, it's still under the gravitational influence of the Earth, and that's why it's still slowing down very, very slowly now. The de de it's, it, it's decelerating at the moment very, very slowly, but pretty soon it's going to reach that point where the influence of the moon's gravity is more than the influence of the Earth's gravity, and then it will accelerate again. You watch it. Watch what will happen. Much over You're the kind next of contradicting of yourself there, Blue. Because I'm not contradicting myself. Everything I just said is absolutely accurate. Yeah, but you, you said that you need 25,000 miles an hour to reach escape velocity. We agreed it did not reach that. It reached 17.5, which is orbital velocity. No, I think it got to 22 or 23,000 miles an hour, something like that. I don't remember what the exact number was. I was trying to look that up, but they're giving us the uh, re-entry velocity is all I'm seeing. Okay, so but you're still uh, you're still like in in a in a complex situation here because uh, no. if if your if your orbital mechanics are true, and if your thirty nine fifty nine and all that all those calculations that you've done, if your big G is true, or your little G, sorry. Um, then it doesn't make sense. You can't have a craft sense. needing escape velocity, 25,000 miles an hour and never reaching it. And then on top of that, slowing down to 1,400 miles an hour. Yeah. That's while exactly you're in what space, well, while, while That's what they would like for it to have. What you would really like to have happen is you would like to launch the thing at the moon and reach the point where moon's where the moon gra gra moon's gravitational attraction is stronger than the earth's gravitational attraction you would love to reach that point at no miles per hour and then let it start accelerating toward the moon that would be ideal they're not going to cut it that close you're contradicting ex what nasa no, is saying not contradicting anything i see you just don't understand it that's all I don't understand it, huh? Okay. Nope, I think don't. I'm about done. If anybody else wants to go in, go ahead. I mean, I, I've said all I had to say. I mean, okay. he has absolutely no explanation for this whatsoever. You need 25,000 miles an hour to reach. You need 25. He agreed. You need 25,000 miles an hour to escape the pull of the Earth's gravity. And then he's telling me, no, you don't need it. So it's like, like double speak. It's not double speak, SE. You're talking about a different condition. When they talk about escape velocity, they talk about the velocity required so that the object would never come back to the Earth. Exactly. And you agreed when I asked you, can Artemis come back to Earth right now on its own? And you no. said no. No, it will not. It, it, it's, it's at the moment not going to come back on its own, not without firing an engine. So it did reach the parameters which you just said which is escape velocity is a no, crap leaving not. a nut. Come on, Blue Man, really? Really, if it wasn't launched at the moon, it will reach a point where it turns around and comes back. Blue, I detect some dialetheism here, some serious heavy duty with a touch of I ECB. I detect some heavy duty stupidity here is what I detect, I see. Blue, you're contradicting yourself. I'm not contradicting myself. You're just not understanding anything I'm telling you. So let's say it again. Let's do this again. Do we need 25,000 miles an hour to reach escape velocity? If you intend not to be launching it at another massive body like the moon, yes, you do. Oh, well, now you're changing it. Now you're not saying not in order for it. you to reach escape this velocity. This is what I've said all along, SC. I've said it time and time again. You want me to say it again? Escape velocity is defined as the velocity required 
for that object never to turn around and come back to the earth. Okay. Fine. In this case, oh. in this case, we're launching it at another massive body that has gravity. Okay, so like you said, if we throw escape velocity is the body not being able to come back to Earth. And I ask you again for the fifth time, can this body come back to Earth, Artemis, on its own? Not launched at the moon, it won't. There you go. Well, how about if we launch it another another direction? Okay, not launch it in another direction, 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 and yes, it will turn around and come back. What? Okay, now explain to us by what mechanism will this rocket, after we throw it that way, escape velocity away from the moon, what mechanism would cause it to come back on its own? Please go ahead. Blue marble come... science. Are we talking about the Artemis mission? Any rocket. Doesn't matter which one it is. You said a rocket and you said escape velocity. This... I didn't say escape velocity. You did. <laughs> Would you like to change Good the story God. now? Good God, SC. You're the one talking about escape velocity, and I have told you time and time again. I'll say it one more time. That rocket did not reach escape velocity as far as I'm as far as I know. I don't know what the exact maximum speed it, it attained at the point it cut its engines off. I'd love to find that right now. I'll okay, do a little so, bit more searching and see if I can find it. I don't think it reached escape velocity. That wouldn't make any sense to me. Okay. So what speed then, back to our little thing we were talking about, the, the boomerang effect. At what speed do we have to launch a rocket and it leaves Earth and then it comes back? At what speed? Greater than 25? Because you said escape velocity before. Maybe now you want to change your mind. What pick a number? What speed? That is the definition. Let me let me Google escape velocity for you. Okay. Then while you're at it, Google what velocity makes it a boomerang, makes a rocket a boomerang after it leaves Earth's gravity. Anything less than escape velocity. That's the answer. Anything now you're saying less than escape velocity. <laughs> yes, that, that would be. Yeah, that would be. You're catching on, SC. Way to go, buddy. Escape velocity means it ain't coming back. Less than escape velocity means it is. How about okay. that? <laughs> so you're, changing. you're a no. genius, SC. How about that, Blue? You are a genius. So, what what is the magic speed for the boomerang effect? I want to know. Give us a number. What magic speed? You're talking about one speed, the escape velocity. There's a number, whatever that number is. Anything that or more than that, and it leaves and doesn't come back. Anything less than that, and it does come back. Is that yeah, simple we enough were... for you? Yeah. It is, but now you're doubling back because before we were saying the rocket leaving, you said it yourself. Now. It, it, it appears that you're backing, backing off of that because you realize how stupid that is, right, Blue? No, I, no, SC. I realize how stupid you sound right now. <laughs> I realize right. how totally ignorant you sound. Thank you. Uh -huh. so Everybody much heard you, Blue. Everybody yeah. heard this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to play it on my channel over and over and over again. Watch me. I hope you do, buddy. And make I will. sure. You explain to them escape velocity everybody and how you backtrack everybody, on it. Everybody should have a chance to laugh at you. I'm going to make sure that happens too. It's not comedy to laugh at people. In celestial like, mechanics, it? escape velocity or escape speed is the minimum speed needed for a free, non-propelled object to escape the gravitational influence of a primary body, thus reaching an infinite distance from it. That's the definition of escape velocity. Is that did everybody you just heard for you. him then? Blue, so everybody heard you say if I point the rocket that way with escape velocity, it's going to come back. Everybody heard you say that, Blue. Yes, it you will. You, no, you, you I didn't, didn't say that. You just it. said it again. No, I say stop twisting my fucking words. <laughs> if it has escape velocity, it will not come back. If it does not have escape velocity, it will come back. 
I've said that about 20 times now. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait till we hear the tape back. Wait till you hear the tape back. Well, if I misspoke, then I'm correcting myself right now. If it reaches escape velocity, it will not come back. If it doesn't reach escape velocity, it will come back. Is that plain enough for you, S.E.? Uh, yeah, it is now. Good. Yeah. So you walked back what you were saying previously. I right? didn't walk anything back. If I misspoke, then I apologize. I'll say what I said again. If it reaches escape velocity, it will not come back. If it does not reach escape velocity, it is going to come back. On its own? On its, on its own, own. You yes. You apologize, Blue, for calling him stupid because you misspoke. I don't, I'm not convinced that I misspoke. I'm convinced that he didn't hear it correctly. So let's get this straight now. You said it now, right? If it reaches escape velocity, if it doesn't, uh, if it does not reach escape velocity under 25,000 miles an hour, it will return on its own when you point it on the other direction of the moon, correct? Correct. All right. Everybody heard it. That's all, folks.